Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simply Tanika Dion. I am your host, Dion. Now today I'm going to be doing like a another, I guess it's like another throw and go type look. I mean, that's what I just call it. I just throw it on and go, you know what I'm saying? Um, I did do a video, maybe um, the video before this or a couple videos, I'm not sure by the time this comes out, I don't know. But um, where I just did a basically a throw and a go look too it was just a one eyeshadow look um you know to make you look presentable to go out or whatever it's like an everyday look but anyway if you did not see that video i will link it above or below and this one um is another look that i do sometimes when i just you know know i gotta go somewhere in um not a lot of time you know so i just throw it on and go basically so anyway without much more talking again i am going to just go ahead and get right into it now firstly um today i'm going to be using my nars soft matte foundation uh come on here people and this is the color that i am i can't see it so i have to show it to you so yeah and this is a uh, soft matte and it is really really drying because i have super dry bone dry just dry 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 skin okay and so this really sucks the life out of my face but i really really like the foundation it is so good so good man love 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 this stuff this has become um like my staple for real i use it all the time that as well as the huda beauty stick now this one's not drying but i, I use this a lot too but anyway today i'm going to be using this one now when i use this i have to be heavily heavily moisturized because it's like i said it just sucks sucks out every bit of life in your face so anyway so yeah now already i have um put on my primer which i today i use the juno moonshine i love this stuff it's like a primer skincare uh in one and it is awesome it's a moisturizer and a primer in one and it is awesome it blurs the pores and everything i really love this stuff i've been using this for about two months now and i really really love it um i got this from juno.com okay i think it's called yeah juno and then i sprayed with the mario badescu uh spray right here and then i used some of the wish full rose oil right here from huda beauty this is you know the sample deluxe what no this is a sample that was in my huda beauty um advent calendar and i'm still using this because i try to use it sparingly because it's so small i would love 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 did i show y'all i would love 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 to have the full bottle of this but i know that this oil is expensive uh, i didn't look it up but i remember seeing somebody i can't remember who i saw just uh somebody i don't know but anyway and if i remember it maybe like 70 or 80 dollars i'm not sure for the full size bottle um if i really like something i would pay for that but i have so many oils that i just don't want to spend that now but because i love it so much and it's super hydrating i don't know i don't want to pay that i really don't because i get a lot of skincare stuff in my boxes but you know we'll see we will see i'm not going to buy it no time soon i mean that's for sure but i really 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 love it oh i love it i want it so bad but anyway really good oil so i've already done that already now um what i'm going to do is go ahead and moisturize some more like i said this dries the heck out so i'm going to use my huda beauty hydrating primer here yes come on it's clear very nice i love this primer as well love it love it love it and then i'm going to put some of this um simply glowing beauty oil which i got in the add-on that i uh, made an add-on on ipsy last month i believe i haven't used this oil yet but I'm gonna go ahead and try it today with this so we will see and then of course I'll be spraying this again I'm telling you I have to do so much because this foundation will suck the mess out of you alrighty so I'm gonna go ahead and apply all these things off camera uh, I mean these things I'm gonna do this on camera but um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply all these uh, hydrating things on my face and then we'll go ahead and get started and here I am just taking some color corrector and I'm applying that all around my mouth area because there is some darkness there. And later in the clip, you'll also see that I do apply that under my eye too. Um, 
And here I'm just taking some concealer that is around the same skin tone, but it's a little, little darker, but it's, it's, it's you know, um, enough to cover these molds. At least I try to cover the molds as much as possible. Now I know, you know, molds can't be covered completely, but I try to hide and disguise them as much as possible so that my foundation can look great. Um, and now I am just blending the um, color corrector out with a mini sponge here and then as far as the concealer I do use a brush to uh, blend out the concealer because with the brush that's just um, pushing it into the skin um, unlike the sponge who actually it like I don't know it picks up the product um, more so um, I like to use a brush for the concealer because I'm trying to really conceal so see how I just pat that in so that it is being pushed into the skin more so than just spread all around you know like you all know how a sponge works even though sponges are great but anyway for the concealer because I'm trying to hide it more conceal it more I use a brush um, and then after the brush I do use a sponge after that and then after this part I go in with my um, NARS foundation and then after that I'll be using the NARS concealer under my eyes and then you'll see me using the Jeffree Star concealer um, in all the highlighted areas that I want to use and then I use a mix of the Jeffree Star banana powder as well as the Rihanna banana powder and I use that under my eyes to set under my eyes and um, the highlighted areas of my face I do not set my foundation one because this NARS foundation is super super matte so there's no need to uh, set that but because I have dry skin I don't set my foundation anyway step in my foundation routine is I take um, the flat brush and I just go all over my eyelids um, now normally I don't do this because I wear eyeshadow but because today is like a throw and go I just put foundation all over my eyes because I don't wear eyeshadow with this look um, and then I blend it out with a brush so that it all can be the same color
here I'm just taking this Natasha Denona palette. Like I told you in the previous clip, I don't um, use eyeshadow really. The only thing that I'm doing with this dark brown shade here is I'm just putting it in the crease um, just to darken up uh, my creased area as to make it appear as though I have some eyeshadow on. Because you saw that I just put foundation all over my eye. So that's basically what I was using as eyeshadow, just a foundation. But here I'm just taking this dark brown. I'm just putting it all in the crease and I'm just going to blend it out, um, you know, so it looks better than that. Um, but just so that it is light but not super light, I just want it to look like I have on eyeshadow when I really do not. And all that does is just to deepen up the crease just give it some dimension after you you know put on the rest of your face so you know when you turn to the side or people looking at you and your eyes blink it looks like you have on eyeshadow but you really don't so make it look a little you know like I'm alive go down 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 and then yeah circles y'all know where I'll be coming up with my words and then a little bit right here right here and then right here so yeah, so yeah, that's about all that I do to try to give me a little bit of, you know, color back. All right, and then today I'm going to be using the Tarte Natural Beauty Blush, which is my all-time favorite. I done bought not many because blushes don't run out that often, but... Uh, this is probably like my third time buying this. This is like a beautiful color that I think would look good on any one. And then I just, you know. All right. And... All right, and then today I'm going to use, let's see, this Babes in Paradise by Morphe. This is the Bretman Rock collabor Collaboration Highlight Palette, and I use these a lot. Now, you're talking about a palette that I use a lot. This will probably be the only one, this highlight palette, because y'all know I love highlight. So, um, yeah, and today I'm just going to go in with the golden one right here. This gold-looking color. Come on. Hello. Yeah, this golden one right here and yeah I'm trying to be light I didn't want it to be as you know because I'm trying to make this a little light every day because I like I said I do uh, wear this out a lot like when I'm running somewhere. This is probably like an hour. Usually it takes me maybe up to two hours with the eyeshadow, the foundation, everything else to do my face. Um, but yeah, this is probably like an hour. So this is what I, that's why I call it every day because I try not to make it so prominent. You know, like little light stuff, little light light. All right. And yeah, now what I wanted to do is just show you guys, cause you know, a lot of guys use the bonding glue and all that. But what I wanted to do, even though, you know, I have a few videos out already of how to apply lashes and I showed you I'm using the Huda Beauty Samantha, um, number 11, oh, Sasha, number 11 lashes. I have one on and I'm going to go ahead and just show you all that it's not so scary working with glue. I'm going to use this eyelash adhesive by Stina Face. I don't know which box I got this in, but I really do like this glue. And let me just show you guys. And it's like, this one has a brush. Normally, you know, I use like the duo glue like a lot of people use. And so you just take the brush and you brush the glue on here. You brush it on. Need some more. 
I know it is intimidating, especially starting out. I was the same way, so I can't say nothing, but you know, I quickly learned. So, because I'm not all that crazy about bonding glue, I do use it every never and never. So, I'm not gonna lie, I really don't use it at all, but you know, it's all good. Um, either I'm using glue, or now that I found magnetic lashes, shoot, I'm, I use them but I don't have a lot of styles of magnetic because I just don't okay and so this is what it looks like see that that's the glue that's about how much I use for when I want it to last all day it may look like a lot but it's not guys it's not because I like mine to be nice and make sure it doesn't go anywhere that's just what I like okay and it doesn't feel heavy now there while this is getting dry I'm gonna you know show you guys now um is this camera fading out okay Sorry. Um, so either you can use a tool like this, you know, just a regular eyelash tool. I like to use it and I hold it, you know, at the tip to put it on. Or some people like the uh, tool that's shaped like this, the sort of shape like the eyelash. Shout out to Flirty Girl Lashes, which I will link down below. Because she, Chantel, um, with the pretty face is the owner of this brand right here and i bought many lashes and things from her before um and yeah and so you can use a tool like this and apply them so yeah so anyway yeah i like to let mine get you know pretty tacky before i go ahead but not too tacky and when they say tacky it's more like sticky like you know like sticks but not really stick and it only takes maybe like a minute I mean it doesn't even take that long so then I'll just take this hold it right here like I like to hold whoa, I like to hold it about here so I can get a good grip and then I just place it on the lash okay and here we go and I try to do it uh, more towards the outer because I like to be more wispy on the outer so let's go Hope you guys can see this good but anyway so i like to come down like this like the shape that's why it's hard to show you because i like to come down and i don't know if you're going to be able to see that but and then you just place it right in the center that's it center attach the end the inner end and then the outer and look how easy was that guys there's no mess there's no mess <laughs> and then you just try to manipulate not manip manipulate it but just make sure it's where you want it to be make sure it's tight I like to start pushing to make sure you know it's pushed and as close to the lash line as possible and like I said I use this to put it on but then I actually bought these from Amazon I believe <coughs> excuse me probably about eight nine years a long time ago i bought these but these are like stamp tweezing collectors when i first started watching makeup i saw somebody with these they didn't know where they got them but then i just decided to look them up on amazon of course and they were there they're stamp tweezing uh, i mean stamp collecting tweeze but they work so good to combine your lash and um the falsy they really really do i love it then i'll take and push push and squeeze push and squeeze just to make sure Closest to lash line as possible. And you're done. Look at that. There's no mess. There's no mess. It's just, oh, it's easy, guys. I mean, I know it's not easy to the first try. First, I'm sorry for saying it's easy. I'm not trying to say, you know. But, yeah, I love it. I love it. And then I wear any pair of lashes that I want. I know you can do that with bonding glue, too. But I'm just a fan of glue. I really am. And there you have it, guys. All right. And this is the finished look, guys. This is pretty much all that I do when I just want to throw something on and have to be somewhere really quickly. Like, I, I even do this, like, when I take my son to the doctor or the dentist or um, sometimes if I'm feeling cute and I want to go to Walmart, I'll do it. Just It just depends. I just do it as a quick type thing you know what I'm saying it's not too flashy not too much it's really really basic and very very beginner friendly and cute at the same time so you guys saw what I did in the previous clips 
so I don't think I need to talk too much about it um, but yeah so yeah this is it and oh and as far as my hair it just depends on how I feel sometimes but generally now that I wear wigs um, I just throw one on and just keep it moving but today I just felt kind of I don't know I wanted to have a little messiness to me today I don't know why so I took one of my units and I just threw it up in a little something something and you know just cute i just i don't know it's really cute something that i'm just gonna go out and just it's cute y'all that's all i can say it's cute and anyone can do it and you know i threw in that little lash tutorial earlier just for a little fun because you know i get a lot of comments saying um i can't use glue it's too much it's scary and that is true um, i try you know i make it look like it might be easier than what it is it is scary especially in the beginning um but i just wanted to show you guys you know just ooh, be patient add the glue you know you'll be fine as far as the color that i showed you guys i did just show you that i only use this one color this brown and i basically just put it um more of the color on the outer edge so that you know you turn to the side and turn to the side it looks like you got on eyeshadow it gives the illusion that you're wearing eyeshadow but i'm really not i just put some color there in the crease very lightly just to um, darken up the crease just to make it I, you saw that I have no eyeshadow on um, I just put foundation all over my face my eyelids and you know just put the color like I said a dark brown in the uh, outer corner and a little bit in the in the crease just to darken it up or give it some dimension and you know like I said to give the assumption that I have on eyeshadow when I really do not um, and still make it look like you do and it's cute and so yeah and what I did was I took that same color brown I just brought it down underneath the lash line as well as a black eyeliner and then set it all off with something nice and bright on the lips since the eyes is really really basic and I put on the Huda Beauty um, red y'all know I can't see this but here it is I hope the camera's gonna pick it up for you guys is that upside down it may be upside down But yeah, and it's a very, very pretty red color. And that is it, guys. If you have any questions, you can feel free to leave them in the comments. Or you can DM, DM me um, on Instagram at Simply Tanika. And that is it. All right. So thank you so much for your support, guys. I really, really appreciate it. If you have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button, like, and comment.